Hello, psychoactive listeners, 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 listeners. Today, we have as our guest, Philippe Bougois, who is one of the more distinguished professors in the United States looking at issues around drug users, drug markets. He's an anthropologist and ethnographer. Philippe has actually spent almost a decade or more in three different communities of either drug sellers or drug users in a really deep sort of immersion. of money selling drugs, having all kinds of, of people think they were important and so forth. And so I coded my notes and I was going to write a chapter of it on it, it uh, on quote unquote addiction in, in, in search of respect and just cut it out of the book because I didn't know how to deal with it. So Righteous Dope Fiend is about the experience of the buyers rather than the sellers, even though many of the sellers can't control their habit and get destroyed by what they're selling. And so that was why I went to people that basically were completely homeless, cut off from their families, outcast pariahs who were injecting heroin and, and smoking crack. And quite a bit older, right? Yeah, they were a little bit, they were about 10 years older than me on average. Because that was the original generation that got swept off their feet by crack. I mean, my generation was the generation selling it to them, and they were the heroin injectors that then, wow, all of a sudden the price of cocaine has gone to almost nothing, started injecting powder cocaine, and then the next thing they knew there was this new product, even more fun than powder cocaine, which was the same product but converted into a base form that you can smoke, that they considered as much fun as injecting cocaine, but easier to do. do, do. themselves and you also describe that the tradition of, of some of the crack dealers priding themselves like their fathers or grandfathers did back in the old country in terms of how many kids they have but whereas there was a functional value of having lots of kids when you're living in a rural Puerto Rico here they're having multiple kids by all sorts of women and almost priding themselves on not taking care of them in, in many cases 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 There's a positive story to this, Ethan, as well. Certain guys become, I forget what the term is, baby pops, who are like a mom's pop. So, for example, Primo, bless his heart, he he actually really cared about his sons. And so he had started out by doing the hypermasculine thing, having multiple girlfriends, having kids with different people and so forth. And then all of a sudden, he woke up and started taking care of them. And his kids actually came out beautifully. Demons be gone. Be gone, demons. Be gone. Leave this studio! Leave this studio!